Freddy's Delight Laughing and I'm here today to do a tag video which I haven't done a tag in so long. Um, so today I want to do the Kiss Me I'm Irish book tag which was created by Erica over at Erica SOS Books a few years ago. Now Erica actually doesn't do videos anymore as far as I know or she hasn't uh, uploaded in a very long time but I used to love her channel. So I didn't think there was any point in creating a new Irish book tag seeing as there was already one around um, so I decided to do this one. So the first question is just green, a book with a green cover and I have like so many books with green covers around me at the moment especially since I've been doing the Irish Readathon so like I have this one which is Silence Under Stone by Norma McMaster, I have this one The Girl from Ballymore by Kathleen McGurl which I just finished reading like just before this video and um, this obviously has like yellows on it as well but there's a lot of green on it too. Um, but one of my favourite ones that is green is actually this Atlas of Tolkien um, by David Day which is just a beautiful kind of picture book of places in Middle Earth which I love. Um, I actually to be quite honest don't look through enough um, but this one's so nice and it's just like really lot soft leather cover and yeah it's beautiful I love it. So the second question is to do with Blarney which is a book that either deceived you into, into liking it or a book that you thought was overhyped and you ended up not liking it. So the book I'm going to choose for this one will probably be an unpopular opinion which is actually Looking for Alaska by John Green. You guys know I'm a big fan of John Green. Um, I really liked Turtles All the Way Down which was the most recent book. I really love The Fault in Our Stars. I quite like Paper Towns um, and this book is one of the ones that for some reason I just hadn't gotten to and it's the one I kept hearing the most about because most people adore this book and I hated it. I really just didn't like it. I did not like the characters at all. Um, yeah, I was just really, really disappointed with this book. And to be honest, the only reason I still have it is because I have such a large collection of John Green books. I pretty much have all of his books. I think I have all of his books now, yeah. Um, so I just like to have them all together, even though this one wasn't my favourite. But uh, yeah, so definitely I just did not like this one at all. The second question is Brogue, which also means dialect, which is just a book where the characters has have a different accent. Um, and this one I'm going to go with The Toy Makers by Robert Dinsdale which I read a few weeks ago um, and in this this is set in London but the um, the main toy maker in this which is because his name is Papa Jack um, I think he's either Russian or he's like from Eastern Europe somewhere so he does have this kind of strong accent and I say if you had a really good um, narrator for this one for audiobook it would probably be really really good I, that's definitely one I would love to listen to an audiobook again um, if the narrator did a good job the next question is Leprechaun a book you enjoyed when you were little um, and for this one I'm going to go for just Ina Blyton I love Ina Blyton this was one of my favourite Ina Blyton books that I had which is just animal stories so this is um, a on omnibus of a few animal stories which is the children at Green Meadows and more adventures on Willow Farm um, which are both two different stories about a group of kids in different places and they are just adopting animals, helping animals, rescuing animals um, and obviously Little Aoife absolutely love this one um, and it's the one I actually do really want to read again. It's just like so battered and bruised and like yeah and you can see I've even written in the front of this um, so yeah I, this is just a book that I is like really precious to me as well. I just love this book because I loved it so much when I was younger so it's one that I'll, I'll always have I think so. The next question is Pot of Gold, which is a book that costs a lot or a book that just means a lot to you. Um, and for this one, I have a book that I actually have no idea how I got it. Um, and it's called Sarah Bell and it is by Moira McGavin. Um, and it just looks like this. It's just this like really old fashioned hardback book. Um, and it's actually about a doll called Sarah Bell and it follows her through a few different kind of lifetimes with different little girls owning her um, and kind of just the stuff she sees and the adventures she goes on with these little girls. Um, and it is just so cute and it's like illustrated as you can see here. Um, and like I love this book and I've read it a few, good few times and every single time I've read it I've really really enjoyed it. But as I said I have no idea how I got it. It kind of just appeared on my shelves one day and like there's actually there is an inscription at the front of it here which says to Fiona a Merry Christmas 1975 from Mummy and Daddy and I have no idea who Fiona is like I have no relatives called Fiona. I have this weird feeling that it could be like some cousin or second cousin of my mum's but I I actually don't know like I don't know it, whether it's something maybe my grand picked up in a charity store or what it is but I honestly have no clue um, I should actually see to see when this was even published. I don't even think it has like a publishing date on it. It 
it was published in 1961 so it's like pretty old so yeah like it definitely has a strange history this book I would love to know where it actually started out and how it ended up on my bookshelves but I do really really love it and again it's probably one that I will have on my shelves for a very very long time. Next uh, question is Four Leaf Clover which is to pick your current or old favourite series. So there's a few series that I feel like I've talked about recently on my channel. One of them is The Wolves of Mercy Falls which I finished the fourth and kind of spin-off book recently and um, that's by Maggie Steve Otter um, and this is one I also reread last year when I reread The Raven Boys as well by Maggie Steve Otter and um, I kind of got into like this Maggie Steve Otter kick last year um, and reread a lot of her books um, and yeah The Wolves of Mercy Falls is one that is my first Maggie Steve Otter book I've read and I know it's not her, her like her favourite most people's favourite book of hers, most people obviously prefer The Raven Boys, it is better written um, and it's more complex than The Wolves of Mercy Falls but there's something about The Wolves of Mercy Falls that I love, it's kind of like a guilty pleasure read for me almost um, and I don't know why I say it's a guilty pleasure but I feel like if you say you love it people will almost judge you because obviously it is not written as well as The Raven Boys um, but I just enjoy going back to it again and again and even though I just recently finished listening to uh, Sinner which is the fourth and spin-off book to the original trilogy on audiobook. I now want to go back and listen to the first three on audiobook even though I just read them last year I want to reread them again through audiobook format and um, so I don't know if I'll do that maybe I'll do that in like in another couple of months I don't know maybe I'll do it next week who knows we will see you guys will know Um. So yeah, um, and another book series that I finished last year was obviously the Seven Realms series by Cinda williams Jaima, which I adored and I have like a whole book review um, video for that series which was just amazing, um, except I kind of don't want to start the spin-off series because I heard about something bad that happens in that to one of the main characters of this one, so I don't want to go on because I want things to stay exactly the same. Um, and then also another one that I love is the Great Coast series by Sebastian de Castell which I have raved about on this channel as well but I still haven't read the fourth book of that so um, I've only heard good things about the fourth book but for all I know it could be terrible, I don't know. Um, and then obviously The Faithful and the Fallen by uh, John Gwynne which is like one of my favourite all time series ever which I just talk about all the time but yeah that's one of my favourites as well. So. The next question is magic which is the book that you found magical or a book that you enjoyed a magical element in it um, and for this one I'm just going to go back to the Toy Masters by Robert Dinsdale um, because this one just has a lovely lovely magical kind of realism to it where they have the ability to create magical toys um, and it is just so special and so lovely and the descriptions of the magic and just the things they create are so beautiful and that you just want this toy shop to be real and you want to be in it and there and I love it so um, yeah I really really enjoyed the magic system and the magic kind of just the subtle magic in it like it wasn't even the magic that was explained it was just a magic that happened and a magic that these people were able to create and I loved it. Question is Kiss which is your current book pairing or your all-time favourite book pairing um, and for me um, some of my favourites are also are obviously Yelena and Valak in the Magic Study series um, by Maria V. Schneider. I just love them. I think they have a really healthy relationship. I love it so much. Um, another one is Risa and Han from the Seven Realms series which I adore obviously and I love them too. I ship them together so much um, and Han is like one of my big book boyfriends. I love him and one of my all-time favourite pairings which is not a popular opinion but again I have a whole book video about this book and the criticism against this book which is Tati Tatiana and Alexander in the Bronze Horseman which is one of my all-time favorite books they are my all-time favorite couple I adore them so much um yeah so they are one of my favorites question is look which is a book that you'll hopefully get to someday and I don't even have an answer to this because my answer is all of them all of these ones behind me hopefully one day I'll get to them I don't know um, I do have maybe The Dollar Fair by Caroline Bray which I literally just saw on my shelf as I walked past it to make this video and I have hauled this and talked about this in TBR so many times I still haven't read it I should have probably read it for the Irish Readathon completely forgot about it until like right this moment um, so yeah maybe I'll just start reading this right now after this video because honestly I was supposed to read another book I've just finished a book I was supposed to read another book I can't find that book anywhere so maybe I'll just pick this one up and start reading it. The next question is Jig which is a book that you don't currently have but if you could get a hold of it it would make you dance with joy um, and for this one it's just kind of like just some upcoming releases I'm really excited about so uh, is it The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill her Little Mermaid retelling, feminist retelling of The Little Mermaid that's going to be amazing and that book 
book is literally the prettiest book I've ever seen in my life so I want a, I want a physical copy of that I'm going to be materialistic right now and say I need a physical copy of that book because it is gorgeous um, and obviously any and all new John Gwynn books because like I'm a number one fan right here so yeah and then the last question is just a rainbow which is just to tag other booktuber friends um, and for this one I'm just going to tag my fellow co-hosts of the Irish Readathon which is Leanne, Jessica and Stephen um, and I will leave all them linked below if you have not checked out their channel what are you waiting for please do Um, so yeah that is this tag so thank you guys so much for watching um, and I hope you enjoyed this video please leave any and all comments down below I would love to know and I'll see you guys again next time bye